No, no, no. Put on the manual build pump, please. God damn it, f***ing go in! Finally, we were getting Ruby Rose back on the water. It's always a little bit stressful to launch a boat after six months on the hard, but everything was going really well. Until, that is, this happened. Can I help? No. One job that has to happen after every launch is that you must check your seacocks, and this is why. We noticed that both of the seacocks in our aft heads were leaking. So now it's time to try and take them apart as best as we could while we're in the water and try and diagnose what the problem was. Nick started by taking the handle off and it soon became clear that the problem was actually that both of the O-rings had degraded. Now, while this may sound like a simple fix, it's easy enough after all to replace an O-ring, Nick found that although he got the first seacock sealed and no longer leaking, the second one, it just would not seal and we couldn't work out why. You can see it dripping right there. How is it I've got two leaking seacocks when I didn't have any leaking seacocks when I f***ing went away? I have absolutely no idea. On the manual build pump, please. I've got a problem, Dave. I can't get this in. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I've got a, an O ring to relocate, and I can't get that O ring in, babe, because. Why don't you put the um, bung in? I've got the O ring, it's got to go where the bung in is. Some of you may be wondering why, since we're already in the boatyard and only metres away from the haul-out facility, we didn't just lift her back out again. Well, one reason is that this happened at 6 o'clock in the evening and we didn't want to go to bed with the leak. But secondly, in order to determine whether the sea cook was actually still leaking, the boat had to be in the water. We had to be able to tell if the handle had sealed or not. Where's the original O-ring I took off? Oh, babe, I don't know. Is it that one there? Is it this one? Yeah. Where's that original O-ring? I don't know babe, you took it off me. What, what, what? Is, it, is it between your legs? God damn it! So you did it? Yep. How? Uh, I doubled up on the O-rings. Okay. I don't understand why that was necessary. Basically, um, the O-rings had perished a little yeah, bit, yeah. enough to let a drip through. But why wouldn't a new O-ring solve that problem? Because the O-ring, it may, basically O-rings work when you put them under pressure, yeah. they expand a little bit and fill gaps. Yeah. That's what that does. That's what it does, I understand. So I use the same size O-ring, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get enough tension on the seat, on the, on the actual you the can, handle going into the socket. I see, yeah. So the old, I looked at the old O-ring and um, it had perished Yeah. to the point at which it was not of any use. So I put a new one in and it still wasn't sealing properly. Yeah. Um, so I just doubled up on them. 
but the first sea cock, the other sea cock, there's that two one I managed to reseat. That yes. one, I, I changed the other ring out and it was fine. This one, it's slightly different. I don't know why. Is that because you couldn't get on tight enough? It, there wouldn't, like, there wasn't enough pressure. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah, that handle, it's just, it... As you turn it, it tightens. Yeah, but there's still water between the two. Yeah. So, anyway, it hasn't dripped for five minutes. Okay. Seriously, this is the third time this thing has dug us out of problems, this kit. Well, every time something goes wrong, I mean, as soon as you told me the sea cost had a leak, I just thought it must be an O-ring, because that's <laughs> always a problem. Do you know what this cost? Probably like three pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. And I tell you what, this fucked up for Game of Soldiers with your non-alcoholic beer this evening. I'm out on the f***ing <laughs> All right then. With your anti-foul all over your arms. Look at me, well, do you know what, I'm, I'm showering in here tonight. Yeah, no, I think you should do. Shower in that bathroom, you made a mess of it, you might as well shower. Yeah, no, I'll right. wash it dry. That was a fight and a half. Yeah, that was stressful. Morning! Morning, darling. What's going on today? Well, we're finally, hopefully, leaving here. Here we go, once again, for a marriage, lining man. Tell you where it's gonna be alright. Sound the judge and jury, and we'll be up all night. You better check for pearls. You better check for pearls. You better check for. Well, there's not much to say about this little motor to Valencia. It's only about five miles and we are motoring, we're not sailing. A, there's no wind, but B, more importantly, we don't have any sails on the boat because we're waiting for our new sails to be delivered. And it's just a bit of a chilly day, it's cloudy. The sea state's a little bit kind of funny. It's a little bit of swell, nothing too major. There's lots of fishing boats out here. But that's really the only interesting thing about this short little motor. We're both looking forward to getting into Valencia. We've got a lot of jobs to do to get Ruby ready for the new season. We're hoping to be away within the next week to ten days. Fingers crossed. So we are heading out for our evening cerveza. It's Friday night, so we're gonna kick back. <laughs> Plus, Live it up. <laughs> I've been on non-alcoholic beer for most of the week. Yeah, exactly. We're um, trying to be slightly healthy. So. I, got, I got fat over Christmas by eating my own body weight in sausage rolls. <laughs> so we are um, trying to cut down on the calories. So yes, we've been having cerveza sin alcohol, as they say here which is alcohol-free beer, which is. is a bit manky. It kind of tastes like just watery beer, but once you get used to it, it's... Still better than the bush. Yes. And, but tonight we allow ourselves on Friday and Saturday nights to um, have a proper beer. <laughs> That's our treat for or being seven. good at all week. I'm going to go mental. <laughs> so off for a Friday night beer in the sun. With a grumpy girl. With a, nah, she's not grumpy. She loves us. She's our waitress that we adore. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is our first morning in Valencia. So uh, we sailed the five nautical miles to the marina yesterday, tied up. And now we have got to get this boat turned into something which doesn't look like a charity shop. So basically our fore cabin is just full of all the different bits of the boat that go that we normally live on the outside. So cushions, solar panels, uh, the barbecue, esky, things like that. So we're gonna get all that sorted out today and then we're gonna go and start getting this place straight. And I have got to drain the water tank completely and fill it up again and flush it through. And the reason for that is, again, you know, we've been sailing for 
12 years now and still make these crazy little schoolboy errors or rather I do we got back to the boat um, and Teresa's like my coffee keeps curdling why does my coffee keep curdling and I'm like I don't know uh, anyways it transpired that before I left the boat I filled up from a, a, a tap a faucet in the, the boatyard and um, just assumed it was okay but when I tasted the water it is about 50% seawater it is unpalatable i don't know why i didn't taste it through the coffee but yeah so basically the water is undrinkable we are now on bottled water obviously but i want to drain that water down today get the water filters re uh you know refitted get we've got a new filter for the season a new charcoal filter so onward today and uh hopefully yeah we'll get that done and then tomorrow we can go out and do some nice things come on you pug bastard this is pretty much my life just sitting around waiting for Nick to give me random instructions, listening to him swear, head in a hole somewhere, bum up, bum up, head down, bum up, head down in a bilge somewhere. And when I say to him, what are you doing? He kind of gives me a bit of a weird rambling mumbled answer. And then he kind of forgets what he's trying to tell me halfway through because he's dropped something or concentration's taken over. I wonder what you tighten up, you Turn it on, so I'm gonna filter the pump on, my love. Okay. And if I squeal or you hear, pshh, turn it off straight away, all right? Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Open as well. Open the tap, please. Right again, turn it on please. Tap or the filter? The, the pump. pump. Oh, oh, oh. Open the tap. Open the tap. Ew, why is it that colour? It's black, it's carbon. Alright, my love, you get to diagnose what the problem is. Do you already know? I know what the problem is, whether I can fix it or not. Well, it's always the problem, my darling girl. Is it an O-ring? Yes. <laughs> O-ring. But I'm not sure whether they've got the right size O-ring. So. Whenever we have a problem, I say maybe it's an O-ring or maybe it's a loose connection. If it's electrical, it's a loose connection. If it's water, an O-ring. Mm. a lot of problems in the last couple of days so we have been madly trying to get all our editing done and all of our little boat chores done while we're in Valencia because hopefully next week we will get our sails delivered and then we can go sailing and start actually cruising again but uh, yes to reward ourselves for all this hard work we've decided that uh, today which is a Saturday, we're gonna go out and enjoy the sunshine and have a lovely lunch in the sun on the beach. And as you can see, the weather is just gorgeous. I think you'll need like a little jacket because it can get a bit, um, it can get a little bit chilly when you're not in the sun. I got my money, I got my shoes, I got my hunger, I got the blues. Oh, it's not a love you love. That was beautiful. It was. You ready? Yep. Oh, 
So we've come to Central Market for a little pre-lunch snack. But that was lunch. Oh, was that lunch? Do we get a little bit more for lunch, or is that it? And now we're just wandering around enjoying the ambience. So we're having dessert, which is horchata with fartons, which apparently looks like a cream bun. No, no, no. Um, and then you're having chocolate and churros. Yes. Look, 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 Funny Here you go, you're about to, you're about to try it. Gladia. Gladia. Yeah, it's like a milk, like a milk drink. Oh, Gladia. Wow. I hope you've got room. <laughs> Time to dig deep. <laughs> it's like really thin, like rice milk with some sort of herb flavouring. And it's sweet. All it's right. delicious. Let me try it, let me try it. I like that. Mm. Yes, that looks good. So you have this chocolate, yes. which is like, it's meant to be hot chocolate, but it's just, you can see. It's, it's like melted chocolate. I mean, this isn't Valencian. Churro is obviously chocolate. It's like a bit more wide ranging than a horchata. That was six euros fifty. So the horchata, the two bartons, so good, that's it. Yeah. chocolate, melted chocolate, and three churros. Now pastries for lunch were like two euros each, I think. So ten bucks a day. Ten euros for lunch. And we got those juices as well. Lovely. This has been a very nice day out. Should we go? Yeah. Come on, Eddie. You want to tell people what you're doing? Yeah, the uh, compass, the LED compass lights stopped working and uh, just wanted to replace them. And because Plastimo don't offer these serviceable parts very readily, I picked up two little red 12 volt LEDs which look identical to this on the interweb. And I'm just going to uh, strip them the old ones out and put new ones in. That's it, that's my job. It's a skateboard bay, yes, you just stand on it. Same as you do with the other skateboard. Hello, Sarah? Same oh, as yeah. the skateboard. Just starting to feel really cool on the boosted board and then we came into this cafe and I just thought oh I'm just gonna show everyone what I can do <laughs> and Nick encouraged me and said give us some beans babe and I did <laughs> the board like accelerated underneath me and I realized very quickly that I was like going towards a building can I just point out that you had it on the baby setting and um, so I jumped off quite athletically I think <laughs> and then it just carried on and it wedged itself underneath a um, like a transportable building. Anyway, we have beer, so not all is lost. We, we got it out, it's okay. Well, the wind picks up in the afternoon, right? Mm. And it dies off during the night, like last night. It died off after midnight, I think. See, so you're not that angry at me. I'm not angry with you at all. Okay, for the bad. Oh, just got the skateboard. Only you could get it wedged under the hut. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a reenactor for the camera. <laughs> no, that's not doing that. Don't you think I was quite grace graceful the way that I leapt off the leapt board? Off and, it? Yeah. See, if I was quick enough, I could have put the brakes on. But I just stood in horrified kind of paralysis. Are you going to do a, uh, a reenactment? No. I was really enjoying myself up until then. Well, you can still enjoy yourself. I think that's like getting on a horse, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Getting back on a horse. Get, go on, go on, let it go. Yeah, we'll go on. No, you have a go. Oh, okay. See, now I don't have any confidence.
Straight up. Do you want me to do it? I just wanted you to pick the people I picked it up. Just put it down again. And I'll pick it up and bring it towards your head. No, stop it. Now what? Alright, pick it up and put it straight. No, look, I'm gonna get annoyed with you in a minute. What do you want me to do? Pick it up as if you want to drink it. <laughs> Why can't you just do it as you're directed? It's not that hard. Put it on the table and just like a normal person. Well, that's how I time drink beer. Can't you just pick it up like a normal person? I did. What do you want me to do? I just want you to pick it up normally. <laughs> Look, put it down. I'm going to do it. I'm going to set up my own shot. I don't need you. Sí, pero la aplastada la 10,8 y este 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 10,8